My name is Andre and welcome at your guitar workshop. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at uh, a song by Matteo Zasato. Um, the title, I have it in front of me, uh, Melancholia Melodiosa Vibranche. I think that's how you pronounce it. If that's incorrect, then please let me know in the comments below. In any case, this is the tune that he uh, released recently. The tablature will be available on my uh, Patreon page soon. Let's get right into it. There's a couple of things that you have to know. Even though I have my capo in first, I'm going to ask you to be without a capo. The reason for that is that this guitar is tuned in E flat and it's the only guitar I have with a whammy bar and everything is set up for the E flat tuning and I'm just sorry, that's just the way it is. Let's get started on the first couple of bars. I'll play them for you and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar, as always. Here we go. All right, so what do you do? So the first chord that you play is an E minor at nine. So you have your pointed finger in second of D, pinky is in fifth of G, and your B string is open, All right? Then you play uh, A and G together with thumb and middle finger, pointed finger plays D, then B string open, ring finger, and then middle finger plays G again, like this. Then we go to a G triad, right? And you have your pinky in fourth of G and your middle finger in third of your E string. And you do a forward roll, thumb, pointer, middle on E, D, and G. Right? And then you play that D string once more with your pointer finger. So like this. Then you play this part. So the chord that you move into is an E minor 11. So that is, um, let's just set it up. So you start with pointer finger on second of D, make a hammer on with your pinky in um, fifth, like this. Then you play E string and that D string once more and then immediately you make a sort of a grace note slide towards seventh position with that pinky, so like this. Then you play open E with your ring finger, then point of finger, third of B, and then open G with your point of finger, like this. Okay? And then you finish off with uh, an F spread triad, right? So that's point of finger in first of E, ring finger in third of A, and middle finger in second of G, right? When you put it together, you get this part. Then you get a repeat of that A minor chord and G chord. But immediately after the G chord, you play C over E, and that is uh, open E, middle finger in this case for me, uh, third of A, and you play open G and you do a forward roll with thumb, pointer, and ring. All right, like this. Play that A string once more with your pointer finger, and then you play F sus two. So that is pointer in first of E, ring finger in third of your uh, A string, and open G. There you go. So those two bars. So what do you do? Um, so you start off playing uh, ring finger fifth of E, point of finger in third, sorry, of A, and you play E, A, D. Then you put your point of finger in seventh of A, and then you play that, and then play open G. Then you put your point of finger on uh, seventh of D, and then you play open B. Right? Then you put your pointed finger in 10th of D. And then what you do is you play harmonics, natural harmonics in 12th position of E, G, and B. And you do a four 
roll there, right? So you got. Okay. Then what you do is you make, with your whammy bar, you sort of pull and, and release again, sort of like a semitone, so like this. Okay, so you have. And then you make a hammer on with your point of finger in eighth position of that B string, right? So. So once more. Then we get into the next part. I'll play that for you and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. Here we go. All right, so what do you do? So there's a couple of chords you play here. The first one is F major nine, right? So that's an F major seventh chord with an added nine. And you play that by having your point of finger in eighth of your A string. Uh, your middle finger is in 10th of your B. Your pinky is in 12 of your E string. And you have an open G. Right, so that's the first chord. Second chord is E minor seven. So basically what you do is you slide this chord down a half step and then your pinky and your middle finger an extra half step. Right, so pointer is in seven, middle is in uh, eight and pinky is in 10. Also with open G, right? So this is your E minor seven chord. And then you slide that down that, um, that chord a whole step, right? So to fifth, uh, seventh, and sorry, fifth, sixth, and eighth position, right? Which is your D minor 11, okay? So what do you play? So on the F major nine, you play A and E together, thumb and ring finger. Then you play G, B, E. Then you do the same on your E minor seventh chord. Then you do sort of the same on your D minor 11 chord. So you start off with A and um, E, G, then you remove your pinky, play that open E string and then play B string with your middle finger, right? So, and then some whammy action, right? So like this. Then you repeat the first chord, so the F major nine. Then you go straight to the D minor 11. You play it exactly the same as your F major nine. And then you go to a new chord, which is uh, this one, right? And um, there you have your uh, ring finger in fourth, of A, pointer finger is in second of G, and your pinky is in fifth of your uh, E string. And that is uh, A major add nine with C sharp in the bass. And you play A and E together, then you play G, B, E, play E once more and make a pull off like this. All right? So that second time you play it goes like this. All right, so now for the next part, I'll play it for you and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. Here we go. All right, so what do you do? First chord that you play is a D minor seven, nine. So that's point of finger in six, uh, sorry, point of finger in fifth of G, middle finger in sixth of B, and open D and E string, right? You start off with a forward roll on D, G, and B, then play open E, then pinky on eight of B, make a pull off, right? So then, Ring finger, middle finger on a sixth position of D and B, 
make a fourth roll on E, D, and B. Slide up one step and back down. Play open E string. Then you play those D and G string, uh, D and B string once more. Slide them up to uh, to nine and then to ten, like this. Then you move them up to twelfth uh, position, and you do forward roll on uh, A, D, and B. Then semitone pull on your whammy bar, and rela and release. Then you slide them back down to ten, and then you put your point finger on eight of E, right? Then you put your pointer finger on tenth position of A and your ring finger is gently touching 12th position of uh, D, G, and B. So you get those harmonics. You do a fourth roll on A, D, G, and B. Do another one of those pull and releases on the whammy bar, right? With your middle finger, you hammer on 10th of B, and then pinky just gently touching 12th of E, sorry, and then playing that, so getting another harmonic. Then, by the way, this one here is a G major chord. Uh, then you get uh, G with F in the bass, or uh, F6, 9, sharp, 11, however you want to see it. And that is the same harmonics, but now with your pinky, and your pointer finger is going to be in eighth position of your A string. Forward roll, pull and release on the whammy bar, then hammer on with your middle finger on eighth of B, and then put your ring finger and pinky in tenth of A and D, and your pointer finger is in uh, seventh of your G string, and uh, there you play sort of a forward roll on D, uh, sorry, E, uh, sorry, and there you sort of play a forward roll on A, D, and G, and then you play D string again, right? So like this, like that. Then you get a little bit of a repeat, so you go back to um, this one here where your middle finger, ring finger are in 12th of uh, D and B, and you do that forward roll again, then that semitone pull and release, and then sliding it down to 10 and playing that eighth again of E, like this. Then you play that G chord again with those harmonics, make that hammer on and 10 on B, and then you go straight to that uh, F chord here, that F6, 9, sharp 11 or whatever, but now in this case you have your pointed finger on uh, eight of A, and your pinky is gently touching G and E string in 12, like that. Then we get the next part, and let me just play that for you and get into how to play that on the guitar. Here we go. All right, so what do you do? Um, so you start off with a little pickup, playing open D, make a hammer with your pointed finger in second of D, and there you get this, so you play ring finger and pinky in fifth of E and A, and point of finger is in third of D. Right, so you play that, so that's sort of D minor with A in the bass, then playing open G, then you play uh, ring finger and middle finger in third of E and A, and you do a fourth roll on E, A, and D, and then immediately you make a hammer-on with your pointer finger in second of that D, like that. And then with your pointer finger you play A string again. This is C over G. Then you play this. So that's pointer finger in first of E, then open A, D, do a forward roll on those three strings, then add your ring finger in second of G, right, which is D minor over F, and then you play 
third position of A, slide down to a second, or you can do a pull-off, whatever you want. And then you go back to your intro uh, sequence, right? So what do you do? So the first part is exactly the same. So you play. Go to that F chord, but then you play open B string with, uh, with your ring finger like this. And then you play open E and ring finger on seventh of G. You play them together. Then you slide up to eight, back to seven and then uh, make uh, a pull-off to a uh, fifth, so like this. Slide to four, put your ring finger on six of D, and then you play open E, all right? So like this, all right? Turning it into an E chord. And then you end with an A minor triad, so you have your ring finger in 10 of B, point of finger in 9 of G, and middle finger is in 10 of D, and you just do a forward roll on A, D, G, and B. All right, so that last sequence goes like this. And that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you need the tablature, it's on my website. If you want to play along with the original, obviously you'll have to put on the capo one first. Wishing you a great week or weekend. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.